Hi there and welcome back. Um, another short tutorial on combining two images, an ICM image and a non-ICM image to create this multiple exposure um, that I'm showing you here. And it's lovely, it's spring-like, the greens are mad out there, there's a few flowers in my front garden. Um, and I just took the opportunity between rain showers yesterday to go and have a play. So let me take you through this whole process from conception through to actual production of the final image. This is what I saw. This is my garden. Um, I've got some lovely cow parsley in there at the moment. I certainly don't consider it too much of a weed when it's that pretty. I've um, got these lovely uh, granny's bonnets on the left. I think they're called aquilegia if you want the proper name. Um, but I just love the, the dark uh, purple colours, but the accents are white in the middle, which all help when you're working with ICM if you've got some contrast points there. And then I was lucky enough to still have a few bluebells left. Um, so there's some bluebells in the background behind the cow parsley. And there's a little one in the foreground there. And they all just add a little bit of colour and interest throughout the image. Overall, got quite nice com composition. Um, got some dark areas in the background. That quite bright green might prove a little bit of a problem later. But we, shall, um, we, we can play with that if that's the only area. It's not white, so there's still detail there. So um, I had a play and this was the ICM image I created. I used a sort of a jiggle or a judder movement. I'm actually following a course just at the moment and we're encouraged to try new movements. And it's not a movement I do very often, but with flowers it works really quite well because what it does is it, it you lose the structures of them and it just leaves you with the lovely colours and the delicate feeling of the, that the flowers have. Um, so this was actually exactly what I wanted for combining two images, a non-ICM and an ICM image. I wanted a, an original ICM image that didn't have too much structure to it and too much detail. So those are the two that I'm going to combine. So let's take those two through into Photoshop. So I'm selecting those two, right click on the mouse, edit in and go all the way down to open as layers in Photoshop. And hopefully this will pop through into Photoshop if it's willing to play ball today. If not, sometimes I have to ask it twice. No, it's coming through. Um, and what you want to do when you're combining two or more images, you always want to think which is your which is your more important image or which would you like your base image to be? And for me, um, generally, it's the ICM image. And then I'm just adding a little bit of detail back into an ICM. Um, so that's the generally the way I will work it. So I'm just going to make this one the same size. So then the, 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 all the elements are sort of sitting on top of each other. And then what I'm going to do over here in the, the tab where you can see both layers, I'm just going to bring the ICM one down to the bottom. So if I close that one off now, you can see there's the ICM, there's the other one. So as I mentioned before, let's have a look through some of the blending modes and I'm just going to flip through just so you can see a few and what they do. You can see on the right hand side which ones I'm going over and some of them are kind of funky. I quite like that. It's not what I'm aiming for. I'm looking for something quite soft. I quite like that one, but there's too much texture and structure on the, um, the uh, granny bonnets on the left hand side. So I'm, what I'm looking for is something a little bit softer. So I'm going to go with soft light because you can see that these are starting to soften up already. I don't like how dark it is and I also don't like how green it is, but that's fine. We're going to deal with that shortly. Um, opacity, I'm just going to take it back a little bit and bring it back. So all I want to do is start seeing the detail of the cow parsley coming through. Only just, okay, we've got 57% and there's enough detail coming back for me. I don't want loads, I just want a tiny little bit of structure. What I don't want, however, is this structure from these um, from the stems coming back. If you take this one off again, you remember there's hardly any stem structure because of the judder movement. There was no definable um, direction of camera movement in this one. So we're going to use a uh, masking layer and using the paintbrush on... I'm just going to get rid of most of this to start with. So I'm going to go with 100% to start with. And I'm just going to get rid of all the detail that's come through that I've let through on 50% or whatever. Just on this side. I'm not looking for the whole thing. Just literally this area that's bugging me a little bit because there was too much structure coming through. Interestingly, I don't like this. So I am just going to get rid of these edges here and this one in the corner. There you go. Right. Now I'm going to put it back and now I'm going to drop it to about... 20%, I'm just going to 20, 
about something quite low and I'm just going to bring back a tiny little bit of detail. All I want to do is bring back a little bit of detail where these flowers are. That's all I'm looking for. No other detail anywhere else on this because it's only the flowers. Just like here, I'm only bringing through the cow parsley. I really only want to bring the flower details through here. And you can just, if you use a low opacity, you can bring it through very gradually. So I really don't want to do too much, um, but there's enough coming through. So I quite like that now. Um, the green's still dominant, but I really quite like um, how the how the balance of it looks now. It's it's better than just the flat ICM. That's quite flat. We're now bringing a little bit of detail to it. Not too much, but just a little bit. So I'm happy. I don't do an awful lot of work in Photoshop. So at this point, I now flatten the layers. Um, if I wanted to keep hold of the layers to use later, then you'd need to save it as a Photoshop um document rather than flattening and saving back into Lightroom but here I'm going to go back and save and it's going to go back into Lightroom as a flattened document so here we are right so now this is where I start to play and start to get even more creative so the first thing I'm going to do I find it very busy and a little bit wide this image so I'm going to actually go and have a little play I'm going to try a seven by five crop here first if you double L click, you lose all the detail around it. So I'm finding this quite bright, finding this quite bright, finding this a little bit messy. So let's get rid of that bright bit at the top first. That's quite a distraction now, and so is this. So I'm going to pull these ones in. Okay, now I quite like that. I might just bring that in a tiny bit because I quite like the way that the cow parsley is coming in from a diagonal. Um, you've got this lovely dark corner here. That's a slightly darker corner. I'm going to might darken this down a little bit. But you've got these lovely echoes of the blue throughout. So I'm actually quite happy with that. So that's where we're going to go on from now. Right. Now, I mentioned before the green was bugging me a little bit. I'm just going to try opening up the shadows a tiny little bit and see if that does anything. Um, sometimes things do work. Sometimes they don't. It's okay, I'll do a little bit of that. Um, I'm going to play with this. I'm just going to get rid with a darkened brush. I'm just going to get to take this down very slightly. And this, just the three areas that I'm finding are quite bright. Just take them down. And then again, same here with a nice big brush. I'm just going to take it down very gently. I'm not, not walk, working very much. And I can always bring it back a little bit. Anywhere that's just a little bit brighter on the edge, I'm just bringing back. Now, if you decided that you didn't like the greens very much, you could go down to um, the colour um, area in your Lightroom panel and you can play with the hue, the saturation and the luminous. So let's just play with the luminance to start with. I'm going to pick the green because it's quite obviously green. By pushing it back, you end up with... Now, I quite like that. It's quite unique, isn't it? But it's not quite what I was looking for this time. Do that. You bring the really light bits. And I'm finding now this is very busy. This is really sort of... Um, overtaking. So I'm just going to push it a very small amount. Saturation, let's just play with it again. Taking it off, I do want to keep that green. Maybe not as much as it was, so let's just do that. Hue, let's just play and just see if the greens... Again, I didn't want it to be dark green, but I don't want to lose the greenness of it. So actually, I'm taking it down very slightly, very slightly indeed. What I want to do, though, is I'm just these um, stems are a little bit strong for me. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to use um, a clarity. I'm just going to take the clarity off them and see if that helps take a little bit of detail off them. Doesn't do too much. Let's just see. If we drop the texture there, yeah, that, that blurs them a little bit more. There we go. I just want to sort of take the. Maybe not quite that much. You can always bring it backwards and forwards, you know, you don't have to. Sometimes I'm sitting here thinking now this is quite a big blank area, so maybe I might just have a little play again with the crop. Just get a little bit red, a little bit more of that. There we go. Possibly, possibly not. Yeah. There we go. So that is your end image. So we've gone from the cow parsley in the garden with the um, Aquilegia granny bonnets. Um, remember we had some blue bells behind and that's what's coming through here and then we had the um, ICM image which was very very soft like almost no detail and we brought that in there as well 
So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you have any questions, do drop them on the message below or do drop me an email at charlotte at charlottebellamy.com. More than happy to answer any questions that you've got. Um, encourage you to go and have a play and experiment. If you like it, do give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, if you're not already subscribed, then it'd be lovely to have you along and do let anybody else know if you think they'd uh, enjoy or find these uh, videos useful. And I look forward to seeing you the next time.